When you think of a farm, this animal may come to mind, a cow. Now, cow is a general term. This is a male with reproductive organs removed, so it's known as a steer. It's a Jersey steer, and Jersey cows, the females, are known for producing very rich milk. There are many different breeds of cows. Jerseys are known as milk cows. Other breeds are raised for their meat. They're known as beef cows. A baby cow is called a calf, and a male with all its reproductive parts is called a bull. The breed of these cattle is known as white-faced Herefords, and the big red building behind them, well, that's known as a barn. Cows aren't the only animals found on a farm. Many farms have pigs, also known as hogs. Pigs are typically raised for their meat. They eat a lot of food, and they get fat as a result. Pigs are intelligent animals. Their physiology is very similar to that of people. Now, pigs make snorting sounds, but under stress, they vocalize a sharp squeal. Pigs can easily get overheated, so they often seek the shade and roll in the mud to cool off. A male pig is called a boar, a female is called a sow, and her babies are called piglets. Pigs seem to relish the simple comforts of life. Given a good place to live, pigs spend much of their time relaxing. When treated well, they bond to humans. Another farm animal is a goat. A male goat, like this one, is called a billy goat. Goats are known for eating almost anything. They can eat problem plants that other animals won't touch. Billy goats grow horns on their heads, and they sometimes butt heads with other billy goats to establish dominance. A female goat is called a nanny goat. They produce goat's milk, which has a great taste and makes good cheese. They give birth to baby goats, known as kids. Like all mammals, nanny goats produce milk for their young. This behavior is called nursing. It's how the kids get their nutrition. Wherever the nanny goat goes, the kids stay close by. Some farm kids, the people, not the animals, raise animals to show at the county fair these goats will be judged when it's their turn to be shown. The animals I saw most often at my grandmother's farm were chickens, just like this one, a variety known as Rhode Island Reds. My grandmother raised chickens for their eggs, which she sold in town in her younger days. Some chickens ended up in the Dutch oven to make chicken and dumplings. A male chicken is known as a rooster. There are many varieties of chickens. Now, chickens are an example of birds known as fowl. Here's a hen with her chicks. A hen will cover her chicks with her wings when it rains. This farm animal is a sheep. You use the same word for one as you do for several. One sheep, four sheep, three sheep. Sheep are raised for their wool. This insulated fur makes sheep too hot in summer, so farmers clip it off. They shear the sheep, keeping the wool for spinning into cloth and giving the sheep a break from the heat. 
A male sheep is called a ram, a female is called a ewe, and a baby sheep, that's called a lamb. The coat of fur is called a fleece. Sheep make a sound similar to goats. Also, like goats, sheep are shown at the county fair. On some farms, you'll find these magnificent animals. These are horses. A mother horse is called a mare, and a young horse is called a colt. These horses are grazing, and the area that they're grazing in, well, that's called a pasture, a place that grows grass for horses to graze. Now, these horses that you see here are at a water trough. This is so that they can drink water. An animal the size of a horse needs lots of water. Horses are often referred to by their color. The horse on the left is a bay. The horse on the right is a searl. It looks like the one in the back is also a bay. Whatever their color, horses get surrounded by flies. Now one thing about horses is they love to eat. This is the inside of a barn. A barn shelters horses from the weather and it's often where they are fed. It's a good place to store hay. You see lots of barns in the countryside, but horses seem happiest when they're outside grazing. Check out this beautiful scene in Southern Oregon. I'm leading this horse with a halter. Horses require a lot of care. These horses are getting brushed, something the horses very much enjoy. Brushing is just one of the steps in getting a horse ready to ride. Another step is putting on the saddle. Speaking of riding, both horse and rider enjoy going out for a ride. Even going backwards sometimes. Children are fascinated by horses, another great animal found on the farm. This is the tail end of the video clip, of course.